Any day that I'm going to see otters is a good day. And today is a good day. The weather is perfect and we're here in Buckfastly, Devon to go to one of my very favorite places to see otters in the whole world, the Otters and Butterflies Otter Sanctuary. We left Somerset this morning and drove down into Devon just so that we could visit my old otter friends and see hopefully some new cubs. Unless you have just met me, you already know that I'm obsessed with otters and I love coming to visit my ottery friends here at the sanctuary. This is my third visit here. My goal in this video is to give you a recap of all the otters here and the latest updates on my old friends. If you want more details about any of them, please check out the videos that I've linked below. I have some amazingly darling videos of my 2020 visit here, which you might enjoy if you are an otter enthusiast or if you just want to see an otter bite me on the leg. Since we're here early, Brooke and Burn are still sleeping away in their holts. I remember that they're sleepy heads and they don't like coming out until it's time for feeding. They're just snuggled in their holts full of straw. I love these spinster sisters. They are Canadian otters with very Canadian names, Winnie and Peggy. They are third generation otters born here in the sanctuary. The first one was Ontario, then her daughter was named Splash, and her two daughters are Winnie and Peggy. They are 17 years old now, which is quite old for an otter, but that shows how long they can live in a sanctuary when they are protected from predators and well cared for. The girls are having their morning swim, working up an appetite for breakfast. And now for the most exciting time of the day, feeding time. It's pretty fun feeding Winnie and Peggy, even though they are a bit old and nearsighted. They are not inclined to bite you, so that's good. I like how they twist their heads to grab the fish in their mouths and then munch away happily. I call Brook and Burn the most eligible bachelor brothers in Buckfastly. Well, that are otters anyway. <sighs> the brothers have decided to wake up because they know it's almost feeding time. He's out here looking around saying, there's lots of spectators, but where's Kara with the food? He's trying everything to get some food. Standing on his back legs, looking at us pleadingly, even pacing back and forth. Just like this guy is begging for fish, I'm gonna beg you to subscribe to my channel. I promise there are fun videos ahead, so click the bell. Brooke and Byrne are British otter brothers who were born in 2017. They are old friends who I have visited a few times. Finally, the boys get some food and are so happy. Unfortunately, these brothers are a bit lazy. They sleep until feeding time, and then after their tummies are full, they will be headed back to bed. Now for Sammy and Skye. Sammy does love an audience, but I wasn't lucky enough to be standing by the right window to film his somersaults this time. You gotta see my 2020 video for that. Then it was feeding time for Sammy and Skye. But Skye wasn't very hungry or starved for attention, so she was reluctant to appear. But Sammy came and enjoyed munching on the fish bits that were tossed to him. He's a cutie and does love attention. In my 2020 video, I show Sammy doing flips underwater in the tank as well as chasing the hosepipe water. He's a pretty fun and active guy. Next, let's meet the Asian short clawed otters in the sanctuary, starting with Pepper and Hercules. They have a new family member since my last visit, a daughter named Halumi. This group of otters is unusual because they are good enough around humans that the otter experience folks are able to go into the pen and interact with them. The people were hosing down the pool and playing with the otters in here. This is a fun dive into the bucket game where Hercules was trying to grab a shell from the bottom of the pail. And this is a cute little clip I call Bucket Full of Otter. And here is Pepper engaging in some vicious welly chewing. My first visit here, Rowan, who you will meet soon, chewed on Ian's boots quite a bit. Thankfully, they were ones borrowed from the sanctuary. 
But the second time I did the otter experience, I was wearing my new wellies and had to do a little dance to keep the otters from tearing a hole in my lovely magenta and black boots. I was mesmerized by watching this little family play together, going in and out of their rock tunnel, and scurrying into their little otter cottage. And now it's feeding time. It's really fun to hand feed these guys and interact with them closely while sitting near them on the ground. The only caution is they can bite. When I was seated on the ground like this feeding them last time, Hercules finished a bit of his fish and I didn't give him another quite fast enough. So he nipped me on the leg. You'll have to check out the link in the description for my 2020 video to see that. Is anyone else like me? Do you think otters eating fish is adorable? Let me know in the comments if I'm weird. And now for my bestie friend of all, my old friend Rowan, his partner Willow, and now their huge brood of babies. When we first met Rowan in 2018, he was a little welly-chewing otter paired with his older partner Jasmine. After Jasmine crossed over the rainbow bridge into the world of endless fish and pebbles, he was paired with a younger otter named Willow. When we saw Rowan in 2020, he was happily holding hands with Willow and proudly looking after his first batch of four pups who had just turned one year old the day before, Oakley, Ashley, Lily, and Big Dave. Now in 2022, they have had two more litters of pups. The first of those was a litter of two, Buck and Ivy, and they are now two years old. The babies of the group are the youngest, which include three pups named Pluto, Luna, and Lyra. This total group of 11 otters is just the cutest thing in the history of ever. I watched them endlessly entertain me with what I call the juggling and snuggling show. There was pebble juggling, swimming, playing with the water, putting grass in their holt, and best of all, snuggling with each other. So, so darling. Forgive me for the baby talk when I watch these otters. I honestly can't help it. I am in otter heaven here in Devon. Now they've had the idea to go take a swim, so everyone's following along. I mean, look at this wrestling, tossling raft of otters here. Super cute, right? Meanwhile, while the kids are over playing in the water, I think this is their mum, Willow, tearing out bits of straw and grass to take back to the holt. Oh, are you getting a big bunch of grass? Oh, look at you. You're getting a big bunch of grass to take back into the holt. These guys can hear Kira from all the way across the park, and so they are just queued up here waiting for feeding time. Where's our food? You have to wait for Sammy and Skye to be fed first, guys. Oh my goodness, so hungry. Now the pups are finally getting their feeding time. Very exciting indeed. However, like the other otters, they disregard table manners and often chew with their mouths full. Now that they've all been fed, they're just up here in a pile on their little sun deck, having a rest and digesting. So cute. If you don't think that this pile of snuggly, sleepy otter siblings is adorable, then you have a cold, hard rock in your chest where your heart should be. Here, 
Here's Willow. While all of her children are sleeping, she's out tidying up, being a nice mom and taking care of everything. While her pups are up on the sun deck sleeping. Otters and Butterflies has more than otters and butterflies at the sanctuary. They also have reptiles and amphibians. In the butterfly house, there are turtles wandering about, and one of them got loose and wandered out the door. I saw this happening and decided to rescue him. But since I'm a YouTuber, I had to film it, of course. Ian wasn't around, so I handed my camera to, to an absolute stranger who was nice enough to film this little adventure. Come on. Another thing that Buck Fastly is known for is the railway attractions. Yes, there's also the South Devon Miniature Railway here, but I never visit here or the steam train railway because I'm always too focused on otters. Thanks for watching this video of me and my otter friends. Stay tuned for where we explore next. And in the meantime, check out my four part vlog of the 2020 visit to Otters and Butterflies to see me hand feed the otters, loads more cute otter baby footage, and the video of an otter biting me. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.